Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last week, I posted a video unboxing the best possession tactics for Football Manager 2023. It had just one problem. I uploaded that video at 4 a.m. So there's a chance you haven't seen that video, but if you're here, don't to worry. In this video, we're going to look at one of the tactics in detail. The tactic we'll be looking at today is the positive headache 4231 system created by Delicious Story. It's ranked as one of the best tactics for Football Manager 2023 in possession as well. And this 4231 positive headache is one, well, it is on request from one of our subscribers here on the channel that we should go through the tactic in detail. So that's what we're going to do here in this video. I went on to test the tactic with a few teams in Argentina, Racing Club, Newell's Old Boys and Tigre. So in this video, we'll go over the tactic in detail, looking at all the player rules, player instructions, team instructions, and if there are any set piece tactics or set piece routines attached to this tactic. So if you want to recreate the tactic, you can follow along with the video step by step. I'm going to be as slow as possible. I'm also going to try to explain how the tactic works and how the roles interact with one another. Then we'll go on to test the tactic with the three teams that we've listed here and then we'll see how well they do using this tactic in the Argentine Primera Division. So then we'll start with the goalkeeper. First of all, the tactic is a 4 2 system and then there's a super keeper on defend duty and then the tactic creator only included just one instruction to tackle harder. There are two wing backs on attack duty for this tactic. They've been asked to stay wider and to tackle harder as well. Both wing backs do have identical instructions. There is a pairing of ball playing defenders. Both ball playing defenders do have identical instructions, by the way. Dribble more and tackle harder. There are two defensive midfielders in, on support duty here and they have been asked to tackle harder as well. So there's a lot of tackling. There is a heavy, heavy, heavy tackling in this tactic, I have to admit. Tackle harder, tackle harder for both defensive midfielders on support duty. And then there's the front three is like an inside forward on attack. Both inside forwards are on attack. They also have identical instructions to sit narrower and tackle harder. And then one of my favorite roles in football manager this year, the shadow striker on attack duty. He has been asked to tackle harder. And then you have your advanced forward on attack also acts to tackle harder so essentially every single player role in this tactic has the instruction of tackle harder it's a fairly simple tactic when you look at the player roles but when we look at the team instructions then the general mentality for this tactic is positive and in possession the team has been asked to play with a shorter passing directness and very high tempo they've also been asked to exploit the flanks which is something quite confusing when you look at how the inside forwards are selected, like they are, the player roles are selected. Player roles selected are inside forwards, but then the team has been asked to play extremely wide. So that's something that really got my attention the first time I looked at the positive headache, but it sort of does work because it means that the as much as the inside forwards are going to be out wide, they're going to still cut inside, but also exploit the wide areas, allowing the wing backs to get on attack. So essentially they are creating room, creating space for the shadow striker and the advanced forwards actually take advantage of the gap when the opposition is spread so wide. And then there's also the run out defense instruction and then low crosses with approach play has the pass into space option selected. When you're in transition, then the team has been asked to counter press and to counter distribute the ball quickly. The goalkeeper has been instructed to do that while rolling the ball out. When you're out of possession, then the defensive line is slightly lower and then the line of engagement is very high. So there's a huge gap between the players that are trying to press the opposition and get the ball and then the players that are obviously trying to cover the defense and try to press back so essentially the team is going to be moving together so i think the high press is going to go on to try and force your position outside and try and get the ball as soon as possible but when the team is out of possession when the opposition drifts beyond the press or somewhat plays beyond the press you can see that the defensive line starts to drift all the way back so your players are going to be comfortable sitting in a low block kind of and try to defend the ball get as many players behind the ball to try and stop the opposition from scoring the trigger press for this tactic is also much more often and then provincial goalkeeper distribution has been selected for this tactic and the get stocking instruction as well has been there as you can see if this if the get stocking instruction was not enough the tactic creator went on to include that every single player in this tactic would tackle harder so the final piece before we put the tactic to the test we're going to look at the set piece instructions if there are any set piece instructions attached to this tactic and then looking at the corners then first of all the corner defending looks like this on the right hand side and then on the left hand side this is the way the corner defending looks in attack this is the way the corner looks. There's a near post corner, but there's also one defensive midfielder trying to draw a player out. This sort of works very well in Football Manager 2023. I did a set piece routine, or I created a video about the overpowered set piece routines. You can go ahead and watch that video immediately after this one. It sort of explains that having one player coming short sort of helps your defender that is standing by the near post have a better chance of scoring from there. So left and right this is the way the corner routine is set up let's look at it on the right hand side very similar one player coming short and then the other player at the near post to try and win those headers for free kicks in attack this is the way it's set up on indirect wide free kicks and this is the way it's set up on the indirect left free kick so you have your central defenders going forward to try and win the header 
for indirect deep free kicks this is the way it's set up same routine you have your center defenders up front to try and win the header on the left hand side on the right hand side that's the way it's set up looking at your throwings to see if there's anyone attaching throwings this year that's the way it's set up and defending throwings and then for the left hand side this is the way it's set up in attack this is the way the throwing is set up some players are coming short and then you have central defenders obviously in the box as well alongside the striker and then you also have the right hand side this is the way it's gonna is the th long let me say quick throws are also set up defenders in the box one striker and then some players coming short so we'll run through to the end of the season and we'll see how well the tactic works out for this argentina teams that we selected by the way if you're new to the channel remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified where more football manager tactic videos do come out here on the channel if you enjoy football manager content do subscribe to the channel i go on to share football manager hints and tips and tactic videos like this here on dark horse fm so we're here at the end of the season let's see who got hacked the racing club manager did get the sack but new boys and tigre somehow made it to the end of the season and currently looking at the national or the argentine league no boys on tigre are the teams that are first and second in the division 26 games played out of how many teams 27 so they have just the one game remaining against racing club again that's no boys they're probably going to be win that game but currently no boys are probably certified champion okay the title is between no boys and tigre that's how well it's actually worked out for the other two teams i can't really say much for racing club i don't think it really did well but we're going to try to look at their schedule and see where everything went south Looking at the Argentine League Cup, the current winners are newer boys, so they're doing quite well and they're also in the final of the Copa Argentina against Boca Juniors. The team stats are like this, the most goals in the league, 68 and 63 by Tigre and Newell Boys, that's how well they did. 2.35 points per game, 2.27 points per game for newer boys and Tigre, respectively. Fewer shots against, newer boys are down there in third and Tigre in fifth, so they do sort of concede some chances, but well it's quite low for them to be in this particular position so defensively the tactic isn't that bad as well it's quite good defensively fewest conceded tigre and no boys third and fifth sixth again okay this is probably below six right 31 goals and 25 goals so not a lot conceded looking at the most shots tigre and no boys flying always just taking shots on goal but considering that they had 518 shots and they managed only 68 goals that's just <laughs> they could have scored more really if you probably have a better team you're still going to go on to score more goals so teams that were let me say mid-table lower lower sides underdogs they somehow ended up finishing first and second but i know that racing club let's just actually visit racing club to see how bad it really got because racing are a lot better than newer boys and tigre but they didn't do that well with this tactics they're looking at their shadow yes shadow for senior squad and they started quite well 1-1 one, one against newer boys in the pilu testimonial they had a lot of wins 3-0 4-1 against san lorenzo 3-0 against atletico nacional Vélez Sarsfield, 6-1 victory over george wilsterman they had a lot of wins and then it starts just going south from here after the game against newer boys in the league cup semi-final they had just had a bad run of games and then it starts going south from there and then everything just went off the rails and they probably parted company with their manager so not really down to the tactic per se i can't really tell but it looks like a team like racing club i expected them to do much better than tigre and noah boys and tigre and noah boys were somewhat mid-table teams and somehow they managed to finish top in the league so those are the results for the positive headache 4231 here on football manager 2023 you can feel free to check out the tactic with other teams teams of your own choice and this is the tactic i'm going to attach a link in the description so you can download this tactic and also try it out for yourself and see how it works but if you follow along with the video you can go ahead to recreate the tactic for yourself really and tweak it anyhow you like and then find a way to get better results with it for your own team i'll catch you guys with more for more manager videos like this i go on to test out more tactics here on the channel and in case you missed the earlier video about the top 10 possession tactics for football manager 2023 you can watch that video as well i'm going to attach a link to that video so you can watch it leave a comment down below if you have any interesting tactics that you want to see tested here on the channel and to stay up to date with more football manager contents do subscribe to the channel leave a like on it as well if you enjoyed this video it sort of helps the channel catch you guys in more football manager videos see you in the next video